Hi, and welcome to the second section, Understanding Node.js Apps. In the previous section, we learned Node.js basics, how to set up a development environment, and how to write CLI scripts. In this section, we will learn what Node.js applications are made from. We will also learn about common JS and how it helps us to make our code modular. We will then understand about NPM, the Node.js package manager. Then we will dive into what is event loop and event emitter. Last but not least, we will see how to work with streams and files. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with common JS. In this video, we will learn what is common JS, how to organize modules, how to import and export them. Common JS is a group with a goal to build up a JavaScript ecosystem and standardize multiple issues. One of the standards they ratified is for modules. Modules allow you to keep your goal scape clean, make it easier to test and share your modules. To use a module, we need the require function, to which we will provide the name of core library or file path. If you provide the file path, you don't need to add the JS suffix. For example, the following line imports the Node.js core file system module. If you want to import the local module, provide a path to it. You can provide the relative or absolute path. We don't have our hello module, so let's create it. You can see that we can make modules by using module.exports. In this case, we exported a simple string value. You can export functions. You can export objects too. Any property exported this way will be available as a value from the require function. Or you can import only the property you need. Each script has its own scope, which means that including them does not pollute the current scope. You should include module in each file where you need it, and modules are cached automatically. As you have learned, modules can be imported in three different ways. Using relative paths, using absolute paths, and by using a name. Using a path is simple. It just loads the module from the file. When you import the module by name, it looks at core modules or dot forward slash node underscore modules directory. You can create your module in node underscore modules directory, but you should use npm for managing your modules. We will learn about npm soon enough. In this video, we learned what is CommonJS, how to declare your modules, how to import and export them. Having modular code will make it a lot easier to test and maintain.